Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Today is um, May the 27th of 2020. And I'm coming to you today because I'm going to share with you a very important word that Julie Whidbey received on May the 24th of 2020. Um, please listen to it very soberly minded because this reveals um, the things yet to come and how things are going to play out. Okay? Tell them, my daughter, tell them all is not as it seems, but to you who have opened the door to your heart and allowed me to find my place of rest, I assure you, you will have no fear. I urge you now to be extremely circumspect and cautious. Do not become distracted and keep your eyes on me and all I have taught you. It appears as if things are returning to a more normal reality. Nothing could be further from the truth. What little reprieve the powers that be tell you that you are having is only an illusion. Deception reigns everywhere. Do not get caught up in the ways of man again, thinking and planning on life as it was. It will not be again. The judgments are upon you, and a second wave more destructive and severe than this plague you have witnessed is right around the corner and there is very little time until this occurs. This is just as I have told you many years ago, that you would barely be able to process one judgment before the next more devastating one would be upon you. The time has come, my children, and everything I have spoken will come to pass. For those in the United States especially, your summer season will be short, and before you know it, the dark days will return with severe punishment coming from many directions. The day is far spent and night has come. I have warned that what is coming will make this current plague pale in comparison. This nation of America that had once boasted of being the proud and the free will be utterly destroyed because of her pride and her destruction will be final and I will know her no more. While the church was sleeping and ignoring my warnings and counsels, the great serpent began his end time scheme in earnest, and the man of perdition has been tutored and stands ready to make his appearance. As they say themselves, they will not let a good crisis go to waste, and they are poised and aggressively working towards the implementation of their beast system worldwide. My children, it is coming sooner than you think. Remember, I am doing something with your time, and you must be prepared. You who choose to ignore me will face terrible consequences for your disobedience. You are not made free by any man or government. I alone grant your freedom. You are slaves to that which you serve. I urge you again and again, choose this day whom you are serving, as your king stands ready for the fulfillment of all things. You who walk intimately with me will have peace that only I can give. You will walk in my authority and power and step into assignments that have been ordered for you since the beginning. Excuse me, let me read that again. You who walk intimately with me will have peace that only I can give. You will walk in my authority and power and step into the assignments that have been ordained for you since the beginning. Your needs will be provided and I will protect you. Your heart will now swell with more joy than you've ever known as you recognize your Messiah and groom and my presence permeates every fiber of your being. Rejoice. Your king is here. He is here. No weapon formed against you will ever prosper. And one day soon you will see every knee bow to the great one, the only king of all, Yahushua. I'm going to put a link to this uh prophetic word in the description box okay below and you know this is um, very significant to me I find much comfort in this word um, the father has shown me many times that I help many people come to Christ during the tribulation period so you know I'm going to uh, just stay in prayer stay in the Bible stay out of the things of the world I don't get wrapped up in anything that the news is saying because they're liars, okay? And I'm just keeping my focus on Jesus Christ. I can't lose my focus now. None of us can afford to lose our focus now at this time, okay? Um, 
I do not believe that, you know, I, I, I appear, you know, we're just going to have to go through some more things. I don't know what, but we are going to stand in faith. We're going to persevere through the, through the power of Jesus Christ in us. Okay. And through us, he's going to get us through all things, but we have to submit our entire selves to him. Okay. We can't walk in the world, one foot in the world and one foot with Jesus. It doesn't work that way. All right. So, you know, I just, I just, I'm, I'm just happy that, you know, every day that a, a new person is coming to Christ. That's what's so important here, that another person every day is coming to Christ. And one soul means, is, is just priceless to God. Okay. So we're not going to rush him. Uh, he will come in his own time. Uh, that's what he told my grandson. He said, do not rush me. I will come in my own time. So. You know, I, I, I'm ready to go any day, but we're going to wait on him, obviously. He's going to have his way for, first. He's going to do what all he needs to fulfill. And uh, we are not to fear. We're to walk in faith, not fear. So please allow this uh, message to edify you today. And I'm going to basically keep the comments off on this video because this message came from Julie Whidbey. Uh, not from me. It came from God actually to her as a prophetic word. And I'm not one to be able to answer questions on this. If you have it, um, I'm going to send you to the link. And I believe there's an email there. You could possibly email her with any questions you may have. All right. God bless you all. Goodbye.